Today our topic of discussion is regarding the developmental assessment in a child. Okay, in the previous class we will be see, we have seen about the normal development of the child. So, what we will be assessing, how we will assess the development on the child. So, in this lecture we are going to see that. So, what is mean by developmental assessment basically and why we have to do that. The developmental assessment is the process of observing and recording the work the children is doing and how they are doing it. So, what you gain by doing this? We will be assessing whether the child is developing in a normal range or whether there is any delay in development. Okay. So, why it is important? It has been noted that 10 percent prevalence is there in the developmental problems. It has been estimated. So, also it is used to the by doing a developmental assessment, it is used to monitor the progress of the child. Okay. And it reassures and inform, keep informing the parents like your child is growing normally and the development is normal or certain milestones would have been achieved but the child is not yet achieved that so we have to look upon it. So, by it is indirectly by doing a developmental assessment it, uh, it helps as a doctors to inform the information regarding the child to the parents and it again the developmental assessment helps to screen the red flag signs like any danger signs it is picked up earlier so that management can be started at the earliest. And the developmental assessment is done to diagnose and also to identify the special needs for the child and certain developmental abnormalities will be a lifelong problem. So, we have to establish the eligibility for funding and services for the surveillance of the child. Okay. So, these are all the need why we do a developmental assessment. So, coming to the methods of assessment. So, how we will proceed with this? How we will assess the baby? By various methods you can do the assessment. By clinical interview, this is majorly it is a history taking. Starting from the antenatal history, you have to take a complete detailed history of the child. Okay, So, by clinical interview, we will be able to know whether there is a developmental delay or developmental regression. Regression means some milestones would have been achieved, but in later on life, those achieved milestones also lost. So, these are all the things you can get only by the proper history taking. And second, we have to, we can assess by observing, just observing the child. What is the child is doing? So, by observing, we can just know like what are all the milestones achieved. And by putting on some questionnaires for both, if older child in case we can um, put the questionnaires on both the parents and the child and we can come to a conclusion. And by narrative and dynamic assessment in the sense, we can give some task to the child to do as we already discussed in the previous uh, normal development, no? we can give cubes, we can give pencil and paper and we can assess the developmental age. Okay, so, these are all the various methods of assessment. By doing this assessment, uh, side by side we are comparing the child from with the other child that is the norm based reference like the same peer age group is able to do this and this child is able to do this. So, the norm based reference we can do or criterion reference that is comparing the, the same child with the own milestones. Okay. So, this is criterion referenced and based upon the performance of everyday task which is the functional reference. So, these are all the various methods of assessing the child, okay, developmental assessment.